pityriasis rosea and there's no cure for it. And I was like, say, come again, say what now? Hey family, you know it's a girl Nina and of course welcome back to another video. I know, I know, I've been MIA, I've been really missing in action and you know I'm about to explain to you guys what has been happening to me. Now separate and apart from my work, my job being a little bit more demanding, I have just not been in the frame of mind to be making videos. No. I developed a skin condition called pityriasis rosea. I hope I'm saying it correct. Pityriasis rosea, it is otherwise called the Christmas tree rash. I think that's because on the back area, the rash has the shape or the form of a Christmas tree. But trust me, there is nothing, 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 nothing festive about this rash. All right, so let me tell you guys. Um. About August of last year, yes, August of last year, I had a rash that looked like a wingworm and it was on my thigh. Now, you know us Jamaicans, the minute we consider anything that looks like a wingworm, we run now for the Whitfield ointment. So, I got a Whitfield ointment and normally with wingworms, like two to three days after using your Whitfield ointment, like it will be gone, gone. This rash, three days, four days, five days, a week, nothing. It just kept getting bigger, all right? I didn't pay any attention to it for a little bit and it just went away because I was saying, you know what? I'm using this with feel. I'm just continuing to use it with feel. It got really big until it just disappeared, all right? That's August the last part of August. Now, in the middle of September, I had another rash right here that looks like a ringworm again. So I was saying, you know, there must be something in my space that I'm coming in contact with. I had recently moved, so I was thinking, all right, there must be something in my space that I was getting in contact with that wasn't, you know, good for me or that was causing some kind of infection. So of course, country girl, I cleaned down the entire house, wiped down, cleaned down, wash everything, but the rash kept getting bigger. Whitfield wouldn't work anymore, and the rash just kept getting bigger. I remember one morning, maybe about two weeks after this big one here, I woke up and my breast here was covered with tiny some tiny I don't want to even call them bumps because they, they it was just like very raised but not in a format of a pimple just like a tiny rash all over my breast and that's where I said mm -mm, I need to see a doctor I cannot try to cure this at home anymore I really really need to see a doctor I went to my my physician who he said to me you know it's it's not wingworm it doesn't look like wingworm it more looks like pityriasis rosea and there's no cure for it and as i was like say come again say what now hmm he said there was no cure for it and i got a little bit frustrated i said where did i get this from no man i think it's wingworm and he said okay well if you believe it's wingworm i will give you some prescription and you take it for six weeks and if it clears up, it's ringworm. And if it doesn't go anywhere, then it's not ringworm. Guys, on the third week, my entire body was covered. And that's when I realized, nope, mm -mm. no ringworm could bad so. This, I no, 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 no ringworm could bad so. So I went to a dermatologist here in Kingston and the dermatologist, she prescribed an ointment and it was like heaven sent. I'm telling you, like the first three days, these rash, they started to turn brown, they started to dry up. I said, yes, this is it. Cream done. I went home for the Christmas break and my body nice and ting. And then I started having COVID-like symptoms over the Christmas break. So I came back home because I wanted to isolate from my family. Guys, Isolating from my family was, was, was a good thing because you know when you're having these symptoms But when I got back into Kingston, I realized that my thigh was getting covered in this rash again 
went back to the dermatologist the second week of January because I had been locked away for 14 days went back to the dermatologist she said to me um oh you know you should have you should have just stopped the cream i said i didn't stop the cream the cream finished she said no you should have come back to me you can't just stop your treatment right in the middle of it it will come back and come back more aggressive so i was like all right then this is my fault because i i i, I stopped the medication i know this thing is really back and really aggressive so of course she gave me some more medication, charged me a barrage of money again, gave me some more medication. This time she gave me some sets, like a set of tablets that I had to take one tablet five times per day. So these were five tablets a day, big tablets, but they did not help. The rest just kept getting bigger and getting bigger. I said, all right. <laughs> This is now February. Let me try another dermatologist. Checking up August, September, October, November, December, January, February. Seven months. My research showed me that you know this condition normally lasts anywhere from ten week, anywhere from four to ten weeks, and it, it it's normally present in persons between ten and thirty-five years old. And I'm like, well, at seven months, I passed it the, the, the ten weeks a long time. So why is this thing still on me? And where the hell did it come from? So, of course. February I decided to try a different dermatologist you know she gave me a different set of treatment I think it was sulfur mixed with hydrocortisone that I had to use on my skin the rush was just still there still there I was like reading about this thing every night reading about it every day I felt so ugly I will put the pictures I'll put the pictures from it started to where it is at now because trust me it is now what may and it's still not gone it is drying up but it's not fully gone sight of the rash it was just the sight of the rash that irritated me it didn't itch it didn't burn it didn't really cause any harm to me but i couldn't wear spaghetti strap i had to be and now you see i'm wearing my t-shirt i had to be wearing shirts like these like taking off my clothes going to the beach like just being in any space where someone else would see my body it was very embarrassing i, I felt dirty i felt like i had a disease you know and i would I, I was so conscious of what other persons looked at me and i think that really caused a mental strain as well because i got so frustrated just trying to figure out a cure for this thing what is this thing where come from what make it a mad me i could not figure it out until and listen disclaimer i am no doctor i am no dermatologist i'm just telling you what worked for me all right so i went on youtube and of course i started typing in a search for this pityriasis roselle and what i realized was a lot of persons were complaining about this virus either after contracting covid or after taking the covid vaccine now i had taken the vaccine in july and i started having symptoms in august all right so i realized that a lot of persons were complaining about that um, when I spoke to the dermatologist, I called and I asked, I was like, hey, do you think this has anything to do with the vaccine or COVID? She also confirmed that she has seen a lot of cases coming in in Jamaica where persons who either took the vaccine or contracted COVID were displaying these symptoms. I, I know of a doctor too who told me that a lot of persons were coming into UA hospital with this type of condition. So, you know, I was like, all right. COVID, you have left me, but you have left me with a souvenir and one that I do not like or appreciate. So, after doing all that research and figuring out, I finally found a video that spoke about the use of neem. Yes, neem, smell bad, think it no smell good, but let me tell you something, heaven sent, the holy grail. All right? holy 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 grail let me tell you so i've been using the neem oil since march and i've been bathing with the neem soap i'll put pictures in the video for you to see i've been using the neem oil and the neem soap and the neem plant itself grows on the compound of my workplace so i've not only been using the soap 
and the oil but I wanted to have the real natural thing so I would boil a few stems or, or boil a few of those little leaves in water and I would use that to take a shower at night has to be night as a can go side on a body the name for your kid smell bad smells horrible all right so I would take a shower in the name or take a bath in the name rather and then I would drink some as well tea bitter it never did have to bitter so I promise you it never did have to bitter so like it bitter but after a while I grew accustomed to the taste almost like you can't ever be fully accustomed to that but after a while I grew accustomed to it somewhat and I started drinking it more often more and more and more so I realize now that my rash is drying up it takes time as I said I started using these things in March it is now May and I'm seeing where most of the raised areas are not so raised anymore but I am left with a lot of scarring all right i don't know how long the scars will last but i am left with a lot of scarring i'm continuing the use of the neem oil i'm continuing the use of the neem soap i'm continuing to drink the neem plant but let me tell you something patience is key patience is key bear in mind you did not cause this on yourself this is not because you were unhygienic. This is not because you're nasty. This is not because your home is infected or infested with anything. This is a, a virus that only the body can decide when it's done with it. The body fights the virus, all right? So with that being said, I don't know if, it, if the virus just reached its limit, reached its limit, and decided okay now it's time to go or if it's the knee that is really working but i did not really see any change until i started using the knee guys let me tell you something man it's hard it's hard when you i, I would get up every morning and check the mirror just to see and every morning i would wake up there would be new like a new one or two rush but now since i've been, I've been using the knee i cannot say that i've been seeing any i know some persons recommend you know staying in the sun for for like 10 to 15 minutes they say the sun really helps with the rash and so on i tried that it didn't really work for me i i, I tried lysine it didn't really work for me i tried bathing with head and shoulder shampoo it didn't really work for me i tried bathing with Sun blue <laughs> It didn't work for me. I tried um, corticosteroids. I tried antivirals. I tried so many things. I went, I took an HIV test. I took a syphilis test. I took a full blood test. Like I did so much to figure out what was happening with me and with my body. But nothing really did it apart from the meme oil neem soap and drinking the neem now there are other youtubers out there they're the ones who really showed the neem and i really want to say thank you and i think that is the entire reason why i decided to you know brave up and put my story out there because it was because of their bravery and them deciding to share their story why i was able to say okay this worked for me i have been thinking about doing this video for so long I've been taking these pictures for so long but you know just to let people know what is happening with you and to think of how cruel people can be it's like <laughs> I don't want to be out there I don't want to be judged but at this point I'm okay I'm okay with being judged if my story helps someone then I'm okay with being judged. I didn't cause this illness on myself. So if you are out there and you're experiencing pityriasis rosea, I can safely say neem has worked for me. And if you want to give it a try, I found my neem oil and my neem soap on Amazon. Jamaica has so many neem trees. I'm sure you can find one. I didn't really know what it looked like until I started experiencing this. So that is when I really found the neem, the neem tree. But guys um i'll keep you updated as to how i am progressing i'll definitely let you guys know when this thing decides to really lift up and go 
support. Until then.